Are you recording? Yes. Oh my lord. Okay. Hello everyone. And, Hello. Okay, let me make sure I have my notes. Okay. Hello everyone. And welcome to the 10th installment of the virtual recital series. Tonight I'm so excited to welcome you to our sleepover. I hope you've all cozied up with a blanket to tune into this evening's prod broadcast. Uh, let's get comfy. First up tonight, we have the lovely, amazing Summer, who is going to be playing for us a tune from Mother 3. Uh, would you like to say more about this piece, Summer? Sure. <laughs> Wow, can't believe I am playing a song from that game. Um, so, so this is an arrangement of the the theme of uh, family letters and memories uh, from the game. And while it's not exactly a lullaby, it does sound like one to me. And it, you know, it this light motif in the game almost. There are cutscenes in the game where characters are dreaming about their family members, in a sense. And this arrangement um, was actually repurposed from the main arrangement, the big arrangement I'm working on, uh, just to, you know, because I'm working at a full, as a full-time substitute teacher, I needed to save some time. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay. And so now, just so everybody knows, we, like I know Nick said before, we're all going to mute our microphones so that we can listen to the piece. And then afterward, if you would like to unmute to applaud and or woo or say words of encouragement, then we can do that then. All right, here we go. Let's go saxophone! Woohoo! That was great! That sounded beautiful. Awesome. That was incredible. Luscious. Yeah, luscious. Yes. Summer, your tone was amazing. The vibrato and your dynamics were fantastic. Oh, uh, I'm blushing. <laughs> It's hard to get a saxophone sounding that good. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's funny because, um, so I just realized recently that my wisdom tooth surgery has actually changed my embouchure, and I was having a lot of trouble getting the low notes out of my tenor sax, so this uh, preparing for this recital has actually helped me figure out a new embouchure to compensate for, like, the gaps in my mouth from my wisdom teeth being removed. So how about that? There you go. 
Yay. Okay. Next, I have the pleasure of introducing um, Sam and Alex, who are playing what looks like a couple of tunes from a game called Alundra. Um, Sam, would you also like to say more about your piece? I would. <clears throat> yeah, so Alundra uh, is a PlayStation game. About half the dungeons in the game are you walking through people's dreams. So it felt very appropriate to uh, this particular recital. Um, and even when you boot up the game, the, the kind of file select menu is kind of like you're entering that dream state that you see in the game when you go into those dungeons. So the music that uh, Alex and I are going to perform is the load screen music called Reflecting, and then the music from one of the dreams you go into um, for a character called Maya. Yep. All right. Let's do it.
Woo. Dang, Sam, that was incredible. Thank you. That was awesome. That vocal harmony moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to take some notes uh, from you, Sam. Since teaching a guitar class for the first time, I got some inspiration. <laughs> oh, great. An excellent job to Alex, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the keyboard, keyboard part. Really appreciated his help on that. Yeah. It added. Okay. Love seeing the bell plates. Yeah, Sam, did you just like walk around? Did you walk around your... Sorry, I keep it around you. <laughs> did you walk around your apartment and went, I need to include all of this somehow. Uh, how can I fit bell plates in here? Well, it was just the piece I was arranging. It just had so many diverse parts. I had to keep voicing them with other objects. So, <laughs> yeah, you did a really good job, like creating. Like I said in chat, you created some really colorful soundscapes with what you had available to you. It was, um, it was very effective. It sounded really good. Thank you. Uh, for our next piece tonight, we are going to be hearing. A little bit of Packet Pupper on the piano. Uh, Jared tonight is playing for us a song called Sorrow from Catherine Fullbody. Catherine Fullbody is a puzzle slash social game developed by Atlas, also known for the Persona series. The puzzle side of the gameplay takes place within the nightmares of the lead character, Vincent. This piece, Sorrow, is new to the Fullbody edition of the game, based around the events of the newest character, Catherine, otherwise known as Rin. So let's check it out. Uh, let me make sure I go full screen. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. I'm having my own technical difficulties. Okay, now I think I'm ready. Yep. Okay. That was uh -oh. super elegant. That was beautiful. Piano. <laughs> Jared, that was awesome. That was like amazing. Uh, thank you for that performance, but I think we have a problem. You played so sweetly that the NGSO fell asleep. And you know that the NGSO is prone to nightmares. I wonder what kinds of things and members of the NGSO have nightmares about. The Red Ring of Death? Forgetting to save your arrangement before closing Muse score? The key of D flat? Nonetheless, 
The sound of a music box lures you. It seems innocent enough, but I caution you against getting too comfortable. Next up, we have Lullaby for Murgo from Bloodborne, as performed by Michael Gaudioso. Three spooky. Oh, three <laughs> spooky, even. Okay. Thank you. I figured it would be a good, uh, a good mix with all the, the nighttime tunes. We, there's nighttime scary guys, so. I agree. I'm getting nightmares tonight. Very funny. Oh my, no way that's true, Mary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hail the nightmare. Hail the nightmare. Um, praise the moon. Um, so, yeah, that also part of that piece is. Um, interesting in-game lore there's an item that you can play this while you're fighting another boss who i also arranged a song for and if you play this song while fighting that boss the boss gets stunned for a minute because it goes oh right my children and them need they need to go to sleep right i remember i have a family uh so this uh, a very useful and well-known tune in the land mm. of yarnum you're so cool cool okay. that's all thank you no, thank you. That was awesome. Sorry, I'm trying to find the full screen button here. Okay. What was the non-Glockenspiel mallet instrument you were playing? Oh, um, 
it was a mutant. I think Music Box Two on the Casio, <laughs> and also also Vibe <laughs> Two. Um, I couldn't get the MIDI to work when I was trying this, so I'm like, I know what sound I want, which is on the Casio, right over there. Yeah. It's, it's a, a good, good sound. sound. Yeah, it had like the pluckiness that I was looking for. So. I, love I love the idea, love the idea of going, going to like, like a, a recital, recital, and you're and like on the program. program it's like, like uh, uh, Michael Gaudioso, Gaudioso Glockenspiel, Glock Glock Music Box, Box Two. two. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> I'll eventually write those notes out for real, but for now, just zoom in on the face. Yeah, that's. I like the arrangement on wild. the napkin, though. That was really good. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, so interestingly enough, the the music box lures you to these monsters of all shapes and sizes. Some are short, and some are tall, and some are big, and some are small. And funny enough, you can still see these monsters when you close your eyes. Maybe they're just in your head? In any case, they invite you to join them in their waltzing. Please enjoy this cover of the Don't Starve theme as performed by Jared and myself. Oh, hold on. I have the wrong video set up. It's this one. Okay. Now I'm ready. Beep. Beep. Okay. Here we go. Ending it with the lighter, nice touch. Thank you. Is that the same arrangement that we played back in like 2019? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about that particular game again, and the way I always describe it to people is it's kind of like a fever dream of Minecraft. Like it's kind of like if Tim Burton had uh, developed Minecraft. Um. But really quick, like on a mildly serious note, I just want to say uh, thank you to Jared for inc uh, encouraging me and my creativity and like just really being a positive and supportive person. Um, and I also want to say thank you to Nick, uh, because every time my creativity strikes, um, Nick is always there to help me produce and to coach me, record me, let me borrow his uh his things um so i just want to say special thanks to both of you for making this happen tonight
Okay. I uh, I want to say, Jared, the synth tones were awesome. And uh, yeah, Lexi, your trombone harmonies sounded perfect. It was really nice. They did. Thank you. Yeah, I would nice like to job. credit my mix engineer with that one. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice job with that. Keeping that like slow kind of heavy tempo just felt really like, oh, like if it was yeah. any faster or any slower, it wouldn't have felt right. So that was really nice. It's so funny because the original arrangement says 130.5 beats per minute. And Jared messaged me and he's like, do you want to keep the 0.5 or no? And I was like, nah, that's okay. Um, but thank you, Mikey G. That means a lot coming from you. Um, okay. So it's about time that we start trying to make our way out of the nightmare segment of our recital. So at the end of the song... You say your goodbyes to the monsters, and you begin trying to find your way out of this nightmare. The walk seems long and impossible, but you try anyway. You are accompanied by Colby Rich playing Not Tomorrow from Silent Hill. Uh, let me just make sure I'm full screen. Okay. Share. And, okay. Thank you, thank you. That ruled. Yeah. That second to last yeah. section sounded like Avril 14th by Aphex Twin. <laughs> I believe you. Oh, well. <laughs> um, when I was first trying to put the program together and stuff, and I was like previewing people's videos, and I was putting things into order and whatnot, which I know some people are talking about, but um, I was trying to put things into place and I just thought about how comforting that arrangement sounded. Now I understand that Silent Hill is not exactly the most comforting game. Um, not a cozy game, that's for sure. Uh, but for some reason, the image came to my head of like some kind of journey and like walking along. And if like if you had Colby like alongside you playing that, like you would be able to feel like you could make yeah. your way out of anything. How so, nice of you to say. I feel very relaxed now. Definitely. Um, I'm also going to shout Colby out. Apparently he has thrice covers on YouTube. So check, check out Colby. Colby, what's your YouTube channel? It's, uh, CC rich on YouTube. You heard it here. Check out CC rich on YouTube.com. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay. A gentle breeze from the window wakes you up. The moonlight catches your eye, and you're compelled by the sound of the wind, which sings for you. The nighttime invites you to listen to its song. 
this next piece is the main theme, Night. Uh, it's called Octopath for Octo Woodwinds. Uh, and this is featuring Mary G, Mikey G, Steven, Sam, and Evan. So let's check it out. Uh, oh, I have it on this tab. I have too many tabs open. Uh, hold on, technical difficulties. I just need to f open the thing. I swear I had it open. Maybe I accidentally closed it. Hold on. Don't panic. No panic. Okay. I got it now. Cool. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. That was awesome. The Octowinds definitely did not disappoint. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, those uh, piccolo ornaments were fantastic. Super good. Yeah, that pig. <laughs> Thanks. A yeah. lot of alternate fingerings. It took a while <laughs> to get down. When I was working on the piece, it was originally five um, voices. And then I wanted, I was missing like that bass line. But then I got in my head, Octopath Traveler is about eight different characters. And I was like, what if I had Octo Woodwinds, though? So wrote in a few extra parts. Couldn't um, really like the glockenspiel in it. So that's the sprite of one of the, my favorite minor character from the game. I was just like, go Crick. So I threw Crick in. Um, but yeah, big thanks to all the accompanying musicians on that. That, took, that was not an easy song. It took a lot of musicianship. And um, thank you. That, that was a work of love. So I appreciate everyone's effort on it. 
I loved adding all the sprites in. That was super cool. Yeah, I picked the parts based off what character I think it reflected it most. So in the score, I have like Piccolo, Agni, and everyone has their <laughs> own like character name on their part. I really like that game. Me too. Yeah. I just want to make a really quick apology because I realized I missed something in our program. Um, and that is the Little Nightmares mel medley. So Nick, if you could do me a favor and make our lights red again so that we can go back to the nightmare time. <laughs> Wait, wait, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> okay, much better. Sorry, we're going to go back and have a quick nightmare again for one second. Okay. Awesome. So, what was supposed to happen is like once you dance with the nightmares, then the, you go on a journey with the nightmares. Okay, just hold on. I know, I'm sorry. You guys, you have imagination. Okay, I'm going to do the intro. Maybe we'll edit it for whenever we put it on YouTube. Who knows? Okay, so once you've finished dancing with the nightmares who perplex yet intrigue you uh you decide to go on a bit of a journey with them uh following these little nightmares around and getting into all sorts of mischief and trouble um and even though they take you on this weird journey you can't help but trust them and have so much fun with them okay now we are going to listen to cindy play for us a medley of tunes from little nightmares one and two. Okay. Thank you. 
that was great. I know. Dang. Cindy, you always knock it out of the park. Thanks, guys. <laughs> now I got to uh, thank uh, good old music, uh, me score for the piano part. That wasn't me, but yeah, this is definitely like one of my favorite franchises. And I just love the ambiance and everything. So I just thought like, uh, yeah, it's just those things are kind of fun to do. So. Yeah, it was That's super cool. well done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can we have the blue lights back, please? Oh, thank goodness. Because <laughs> everything is, scary. is okay now. That was awesome. I really, really hope we can edit it so that we put light, Little Nightmares where it is on the program. Because honestly, it would be perfect. And I feel like I failed you all, but it's fine. We're going to keep going. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to go back to uh where we were before next up is going to be uh shauna's theme from the legend of dragoon as performed by nick nick would you like to say a little bit more about your arrangement uh sure um so, so this, this is, is like lexi like said this is um an arrangement that i made or performance whatever you want to call it um of shauna's theme from the legend of dragoon which depending on what day you ask me is is my favorite video game so um I've done one piece from this game for for a previous virtual recital, and I want I figured um, this would be a good theme to bring uh, bring it back. So technically, it's a spoiler for me to say why this is related to the theme, but just trust me that it's related to the theme. Um, and also, so this is basically the the kind of concept for this arrangement is Shauna's theme, but it's an '80s ballad. So. Oh, yeah, sorry. I wanted to say, okay, so the way that this fits into the story. So, you remember I said the wind wakes you up, and then you look out the window, and the nighttime sings its song to you. While you're looking out the window, you notice the cutest, tiniest little bat flying through the sky and flapping its wings. It sings you the following song.
Yeah. Woo! Thanks, oh, everyone. So good. Rock and roll. That was awesome. Amazing. Thank you. Glad you liked it. I like that funky bit in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to, you know, do something a little bit, a little bit of a departure. I figured that kind of fit the vibe. Man, I need lyrics to that because, like, by the end, I just wanted to be singing along the whole time. <laughs> Same. Like, I need yeah. to be like wailing at the top of my lungs to this. <laughs> so good. I so, guess. Uh, I guess I achieved the uh, theme. Or uh, you know, concept '80s ballad kind of thing. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Down on a road trip and just yeah. sing along to that at full volume. So, yep. uh, when are we playing this arrangement in? Uh, orchestra? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday I'll do an arrangement from this game uh, for for the orchestra. It'd be cool. I'm gonna have some soloists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, now that you have had your adventure with the nighttime, uh, I am going to be bringing you back soundly to sleep with a lullaby that plays in the distance, a tune so familiar to you, so comforting, played by the one, the only, Ganon11, a.k.a. Mike Stark. Uh, next up for you, we have Zelda's Lullaby from The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. So let's tune in. I don't know if I've heard a electric instrumentation of that before, but it sounded really cool that way. Um, so I think you nailed it. Yeah, I think typically it's envisioned and played on a harp, um, and it's if you if you know how to play harp, it's probably easier to play the arpeggios <laughs> on a harp than just to play them on a guitar. It results in some really weird fingerings. I don't know either, so they're both as impressive to me. Yeah. Thank you. Did you have okay. a delay or an echo going there, Mike? Uh, no. It was actually zero effect. It was the guitar straight into Audacity. Um, it honestly sounded pretty good, just how it was. So I didn't really try and throw any effects or anything on there. Sweet. All right, friends, we've come to the program where it's about time for us to uh, start closing up shop here. Uh, and I can't think of a better theme to do that than uh, the shop closing theme from Animal Crossing New Horizons featuring Nina, Megan, Richard, and Liz.
Damn. <laughs> we have a string section. It's so good. <clears throat> that was really beautiful, everyone. Yeah. Really tearing at my heartstrings. But, um. <laughs> Nina, was that you on piano as well? Yeah. On piano. Awesome. And arrangement. Thank you yeah, guys the so arrangement- much for, for uh, helping me with this piece. I'm so happy I got such awesome string players to make a quartet with. That was an excellent arrangement, by the way. Beautiful. It was very good. That chromaticism, oh my god. Cat. Yes, cat. The cat has come to say that uh, it's about... that. Not it's about. It is time to wrap up our virtual recital for tonight. But both Buttons and I want to thank you so, so much for coming along our journey today. Uh, we hope you had fun. And we hope to see you here next time. Um, until then, sweet dreams. Don't forget to check us out on uh, on our socials. We have a Facebook. We have an Instagram. We have a TikTok. You can learn more about us at the NorwalkGSO.org website. Um, yeah, stay safe. And have a good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Hey, wait. Uh, Who actually left? No, wait. Did you miss Andy's piece? Wait, what? Oh. Yes, I think. Uh, it's wait. in the program. I noticed it. Oh, my Lord. I am so sorry. Thank Family you for saying mess. so, because I, I was too timid to say so. But Guys, yeah. you have to just say stuff. Say things well, to me. Who I left? wasn't looking at the... Yeah. I don't left? know who actually left. I'll grab him. I'm uh, still here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Was it... No, someone left, though. We had an odd number of people, and now we have an even number of people. I really don't know. I did not see. Um, uh, okay. I have Andy's piece here. Let's do this. Uh, okay. Go live. What part of the story did this Wait. fit into? Can I introduce it? I was going to introduce it. Yeah, that's what I just... Oh, okay. Do it. Andy, can you tell us a little bit more about your piece today? Yes. Okay, so... We've all been to sleepovers, maybe, I guess. Well, if you have been to sleepovers... You have probably at least once experienced the thing where you wake up before everybody else and then you have nothing to do but figure out how to not be bored until everybody else wakes up. Well, that is essentially the plot of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. He gets invited to a sleepover at Peach's castle. I mean, Zelda's castle. She bakes a cake for him. It's awesome. But then he wakes up way before she does, and she's a heavy sleepover. So he's all like, man, I'm bored. I wonder what Ganon's up to. And he goes on an entire adventure because he's too impatient to just, like, sit there and wait for a minute. Also, he killed Ganon in the previous game, so, like, Link... Link's bloodlust cannot be sated. He must kill Ganon repeatedly. I guess, honestly, not much has changed in those games. Anyway, along this journey, he goes to towns. And at the first town he goes to, wouldn't you know it, Link, he's such a swell, likable guy. He actually meets a friend there and has a sleepover in town, too. And then he has another sleepover in the next town. Come to think of it, Link has a lot of sleepovers in this game. In you know, I think every town that he goes to. So, in the spirit of joyful sleepovers, sometimes with strangers, I present to you the town theme from Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Enjoy.
This thing. So, um, uh, like, I guess a couple years years back during one of the other virtual recitals, I did kind of a precursor to this where I, like, drew a similar diagram in my practice, and then I made a PDF of frames of it and advanced them with my hands, with screen recording it, with music going. But this is actually a playable version of it because Ooh. chat GPT can spit out simple bits of code that I, a novice, can then assemble into this. So basically it can play all the notes and it makes beeps and boops that sound exactly like a video game. So I've been practicing it every day naturally. It's like a synesthesia POV, I like it. Yeah, it can show one note or all the notes or anything in between all as one symbol on screen. It, it's it's bloodborne runes in real life where you imagine a diagram and it gives you magic powers like to hear notes better. <laughs> I love the chip tune so much. Um cur curious, were those notes arranged in the circle of fourths or fifths? No, it's a circle of half steps. So I call it the chromatic spiral, the arrangement, because it goes clockwise from one o'clock to 12, and then it goes into the next diameter and goes around again. Wow, okay. I should have been paying closer attention. Well, it's honestly kind of hard to follow it, especially because I put it in 720p so that it would, like, stream better or something i don't know I don't, I don't have that much room left on my computer <laughs> uh, but yeah so beeps and eventually there will be a lot of things added to this thing i hope and more magic powers and then hopefully other people play it too and get the same powers Yes. <laughs> it is very good to see it in action, Andy. Thank you, thank you. More to come. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Triple check that we didn't miss anyone else. <laughs> I don't think so. I went over the program again. Pretty sure it's good. It's okay. We still love you. I I don't blame you guys if you don't at this point, honestly. It's like, that's too much. But it is what it is. So, yes, we did this and this and this and this and this and this. And this.
And this, and this, and this, and this. Yeah, okay. Cool. This was a lot of fun. Um, I'm so happy that we had so many submissions. Uh, this is really... This is really awesome. And like the way people got really creative with the theme was like super cool. So I, I can't wait to see what happens in the next one, which is not scheduled yet. But, you know, we'll <laughs> let you guys know. Soon, TM. Yep. What was the number of pieces? I lost count. How many lot. total? Yeah. How many submissions? Uh, I feel like there were a lot. It's nine? like 11 or 12. Oh, dang. Cool. Wow. 12. That's, a new, that's yeah. a new record for sure. 12 is a new record, yeah. Yeah. It's been a well, long we... time. People have been itching. <laughs> and we do have a lot of new members, so. Yeah, yeah there's more of us now than there were in <laughs> early 2022, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was awesome. Job well done, and congratulations all around. Thank you so much, Lexi, for taking us on this journey. It thank was delightful. You, for, thank, thank you, Lexi, for dealing with our very last-minute video submissions. I'm very <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it was it was fun. So I, we can't I, we can't blame you for forgetting things because <laughs> you were overwhelmed. So big it's appreciate fine. it. We'll fix it in post, like <laughs> Alex said. Maybe if uh, if people feel like they can do that, that would be cool. But I'll do my it best. Is it is. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm headed out. Thank you guys so much for a great night. Take it easy. Cool. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. You're awesome. Wink. Wink. Wink.